So when we think about personality, what we're talking about here is how do you go from ordinary or average? So if you've been listening to the show, you've heard us ask time and time again of our guests, what makes you extraordinary? What is your X factor? How do you stand out? Your personality is one way that you stand out that makes you extraordinary. And that personality could take many shapes or forms. It could be your creativity. It could be your music inclination. It could be your ability to use your imagination to build video games or to play Dungeons and Dragons or to master uh, board games. But that personality has to be developed outside of your career. It has to be showcased to other people to stand out from the crowd. And what we see time and time again, a roadblock or a pitfall that our clients are facing around showcasing their personality is being in their head, overthinking everything and worried about what to say next. And oftentimes they'll join the X Factor asking the exact words, AJ, what do you say in this situation? What do you say, Johnny, in this situation? Well, your personality is different than my personality. My personality is different than Johnny's personality. And if I worried about what I should say to be more like Johnny or to be more like Michael, well, I'm overthinking and I'm not going to be present and I'm not going to be charismatic and in the moment that attracts people's attention, that wins people over and keeps them wanting more of my personality around them. So for the analytical driven mind, I'm going to connect this together and then we're going to give the solution to this. So when you're out at social engagements, if you feel that you are in your head and the symptoms to that, or you're going to be at a loss for words, having a lot of anxiety going on, your mind just blanks out. This is due to not being socialized in an area where you are using your personality to connect and draw people in. Now, what's cool about this is now that we've identified the gap and the problem, it's, okay, what is the solution to then being able to build out our personality? And what's so awesome about this is that we've been doing this for 17 years. This is a skill that you can develop at any point in your life. It just needs a bit of attention. And for you analytically driven uh, mindset folks, uh, a few simple frameworks will allow you to feel good in developing this out that give you a, an area, a place where you can follow a few simple rules and begin to develop this. Now, uh, we had recently just did an ep episode about improv and improv is working on this very thing, being present in the moment, connecting with, with other people. And this is what's fun about that is we went through this, that whole episode talking about all the skills that can be developed in through improv. And there's so many of us who feel that these are skills that we're supposed to be, have, have developed earlier in life. Well, they're going to, they're going to develop at any point that you put in the effort and the attention that it deserves. And let's be honest. For a lot of us in our career, it's not a great place to work on our sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. No. No one wants to walk in the doctor's office and hear your, your monologue. No one wants to come to the law office and, and hear you cracking jokes about the opponent in the case. So oftentimes we've neglected our sense of humor and showcasing it because our career has demanded that we be serious and that we focus on the task at hand. So are you creating opportunities in your life to build out and to strengthen that sense of humor? Are you creating opportunities in your life to share a bit more of your story? So if someone was to ask me at a cocktail party, hey, what do you do for a living, AJ? I could say, well, I host a podcast. I coach emotional intelligence. I work with the military. Or I could say, you know what? 16 years ago, I fell in love with human dynamics. I was struggling myself with some imposter syndrome and really connecting with others after I graduated from college. And I just went on this journey of self-development to figure out how to unlock my personality and be a more charismatic conversationalist. And through that journey, I started a podcast and that turned into a coaching company. And now we work with clients worldwide. Which of those two answers at the cocktail party is going to stand out? It's going to draw a crowd over. It's going to lead to that woman standing across the room taking interest, the podcast host or the storyteller. 
who shares a journey of not only what he does, but how he fell into that line of work and what you love about your career. That's the difference in allowing your personality to pull people in, to attract people to you, to draw in women into your life, or just trading on facts and information and feeling boring and feeling stuck in your head in these environments where you should be meeting and connecting with people. 